Hey, my gilded brethren, what's going on? You see this, uh, this pixelated effect right here? Yeah, now you can see it. At first, you couldn't really tell what the picture was of, but now it looks like a little Lego town. From, well, over here, it looks like a little Lego town. Look at the little Lego people. But it's an actual photo. It's not, it's not a Lego picture. See this? Spunky, right? Spunky. Yeah, spunky. Got a little spunked, whatever you want. Spunk as well. If you look at that text. Look at that. This is my outro. It 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 just it just increased its attractiveness on so many levels. This pixelated text effect that I'm getting ready to show you. Let's go to file and do. Well, open. Let's open a picture. Any picture. Any picture you want to modify. Say this for instance. Mm -hmm. All right. What I need to do is go up to filter. Go to pixelate. Then pixelate, pixelate, then mosaic. Alright, now when you're setting the cell size, you can set it to whatever you like. You can experiment with it just to see what your taste is, but just take note because whatever the cell size is, that's what you'll set the, uh, the following documents height and width to. So we can get this effect down packed. I'm right, set mine to 12. Let's, let's go. Alright. File new, and this is what I was talking about. When you set your cell size, whatever the um, cell size was, that's what you make the, the height and width. And mine was 12, so I'm setting the height and width to 12. Zoom in really quick because we can't barely see that. I want you to grab the elliptical marquee tool. Let's get this. Let's get this started. What you're gonna do is you're gonna line up the little crosshairs with the top corner. And you're gonna hold shift and then you're gonna click and drag you're gonna drag down it's gonna create a circle all right here we go let's go we're dragging we're dragging all right and it's gonna make a selection and then I want you to hit control shift I and that's gonna inverse the selection all right now go down here and create a new layer all right and we're gonna uh, fill the selection in the new layer with white you can use whatever colors you like. I'm using white for the tutorial. Don't don't worry. All right, turn that background off and hit Control D to deselect the selection. I want you to go up to Edit. Can you see the white corners? It's pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Define pattern. Edit and define pattern. Name that pattern G. You can name yours whatever you like. And then go back to the uh, artwork. That we want to add the circle pixels to. What we want to do is create a new layer. Fill that layer with white. Fill the new layer with white. And then go right click and go to the blending options on that layer. What we're going to do is set the fill opacity to zero under advanced blending. Set it to zero. There we go. I hit turn on the pattern overlay. Go inside here, find. My fat pat, pattern G, look at that, voila! Yeah, that's amazing, right? It's spunked up. It's real spunky. It's it, it's it's all in the family now. Yeah, you're unstoppable. Whatever you want to do, you could pick circle, circle, pixelate all the pictures you want now. But hey, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, rate, share with your buddies. Hey, thanks a lot, and have a happy YouTube day.